Open the front cover of the printer. Remove the four toner cartridges. Remove the waste collector unit. Remove the drum unit. On this side of the drum unit, remove the E-ring. Slide the metal drum axle. Do not pull it out from the other side. The metal shaft will jam up on the drum ground contact, damaging the contact. Remove the old drum. Remove the charge roller. In some drum units, you have to pull out all the charge roller assembly with its foam roller. It's not necessary to change or remove the wiper blade unless damaged. Clean out all the remaining toner from the cartridge. If possible, use compressed air. It would be better to use a toner workstation. You can also use a toner vacuum. If not, clean the cartridge as well as possible at open air. Do not breathe the toner dust. Be careful not to damage the recovery blade that is located next to the wiper blade. If this blade is bent in any way, the cartridge will leak. Clean the rod lens array. It's important to clean it perfectly. If dirty, the laser beam image will not be reflected properly back to the drum. Also, do not damage this thin plastic blade. Clean the charge roller with water. The charge roller places the initial charge on the drum as well as erases the residual charge at the end of the cycle. Do not touch the roller with your finger. You may cause printing problems like extra marks on the page. Reinstall the charge roller. Lubricate the drum with toner, or the wiper blade may damage it. Remember, the drum is light sensitive. Store the drum in a dark place as long as possible. Do not touch the drum with your fingers. Install the drum. Install the drum axle from the drum gear side. To make sure that everything is meshing properly, rotate the drum by the gear in the proper direction. Install the E-ring.
and the work is done. The drum is a resistor in this position. The resistor is a page counter. With a screwdriver, push on the clip and remove the resistor. With toner coverage at 5%, the drum will print 20,000 black pages and 5,000 color pages. To cancel the error message and reset the counter, you have to replace this resistor. Often, inside of the drum chip, there are two components. The brown is a normal 100K resistor. The other, with or without strips, is the resistor to be replaced. Initial drum units, sold with new printers, may not have the resistor. Remove the old resistor. Cut the new resistor to appropriate size and solder. Then, put the assembly back to the drum unit. For any problem with the cartridge, here you'll find a troubleshooting guide.